Jens Flores' journey continues with the short drive from Moni to Ende. Along the way, there are plenty of viewpoints to stop and check out. Our driver had fun messing with us as we crossed this rickety bridge. A scenic stroll through a small village was a nice way to break up the drive. The village of Wolotopo is also worth visiting, but sadly the rain kept us in the car. There are quite a few guest houses and hotels in Ende. We settled on the newer Dasi Guest House. Ende's home to the Sukarno Museum, but it was already closed when we got there at 3. With nothing else to do, we took a walk on the town's black sand beach. It's one of the biggest towns in Flores, but it still feels like a sleepy fishing village. Ferries leave from here to a few other islands, and there are a few restaurants located near the pier. We walked by the town's church, encountering goats eating garbage, and others hanging on a basketball court along the way. Finally, the little market comes to life at night. We sat down for some juice alpacat, ni bakso, and gadu gadu, a cheap and tasty dinner. The next day, we got back on the road, making a few stops to take in the scenery. Local children were enjoying a nice swim, while fishing boats continued the day's work. stopped at the blue stone beach where there are indeed tons of shiny blue stones in the sand. Unfortunately, it looks like they're all being bagged up and sold. Our driver caught some Z's before we headed out. Climbing back up into the hills along the long and winding road, we were treated to even more stunning views. Travel may be slow in Flores, but it sure is pretty.